And Roger, you said so many great things, and you've been in the game for so long. I mean, literally, you know, uh, I mean, since way before I was born, you've been in, in, you've known, you've seen, I guess, this trajectory of the new world order. And I, I guess, like I said, I, I'm a, a little bit younger than you, just a couple of years. Um, I, I would think that the installment of the new world order, when they put the software in, downloaded it, installed it, was 9-11 for me. But for you, when was the new world order installed? And that's when the game plan said, it's time to go. We're going to become a global country. Uh, November 22nd, 1963, with the murder of John F. Kennedy. I mean, uh, look, as a Republican partisan and as a Nixon Republican, I used to have a hyper-partisan uh, misjudgment about JFK. But the truth is, he was a disruptor, much like Trump. Uh, first of all, he was an ardent anti-communist, but he saw the folly of going to war with Russia uh, and that, the, and that the, the fact that we both had nuclear weapons meant uh, mutual assured destruction. Uh, he cut taxes very deeply. Reagan would later later emulate the Reagan tax cuts. Uh, and he, he favored a silver-backed dollar. Uh, so the military-industrial complex, that's what we used to call the deep state, yeah. they wanted him gone. Uh, and, and they achieved their goal. I, as you know, I wrote a New York Times best-selling book on this. To me, that is the beginning. That is when it becomes clear that the country is run by a ruling elite that control both parties. They're neither liberal nor conservative. They're neither Republicans nor Democrats. They're both. Uh, and it's really about money and power uh, and control. So uh, even though I have this sentimental attachment to the Republican Party, the party of Lincoln, the party of Goldwater, the party of Reagan, the party of Trump, I also recognize that both major parties, uh, certainly in Washington, are dominated by these insiders, um, and they are dedicated to the erosion of our civil liberties, uh, our economic disaster, uh, and policies that um, can kiss our freedoms bye-bye. Um, so I think that's when it starts. Eisenhower, who, by the way, was a much greater president than people realize, he was kind of boring, which is why I think he doesn't get much credit. But on his way out the door, he gives a speech in which he warns against the military-industrial complex. We call him the deep state today. He lays it right out there. That's who killed John Kennedy. That's who uh, removed uh, Richard Nixon in a silent coup. That's tr who tried to take Donald Trump out in the so-called Russian collusion hoax. No, and everybody needs to go watch uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower's farewell speech when he was president, and he calls out the military-industrial complex. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.